We just want to talk briefly on uh, an on-hill uh, ski warm-up to do before you ski. Don't get out of your car, rip straight up to the top of the summit and hammer down the backside. It's a good idea to just, even if you spend five minutes doing some warm-ups, um, on, put your ski boots on, get outside, and the first one is just to do some running on the spot in your ski boots. Lynn's going to put me through a bit of a workup and a warm-up. For your ski boots. Yeah, I should be wearing ski Okay, then you can hold on to your poles and you can do some just leg swings forward and back. It's a dynamic workout. You want to get your blood pumping, your heart pumping, and I get your, your muscles starting to get warmed up and a little more flexible. Do both legs. You can also do some out to the side. Good. Right. You do some really quick squats up and down. To warm up your legs and your knees and your ankles, getting everything nice and flexed and warmed up. I've got anterior knee pain. I man. can hear it. <laughs> can you guys hear that? <laughs> I need a warm up. A little crunchy. It is. It's great. Okay, you can put your uh, foot up. Imagine you have your ski on and you're going to put your foot up with your um, ski in the snow. And you can just stretch out your hamstrings a little bit, lean forward and get a little bit of a stretch your glutes and your hamstrings. You can also put your hip in the snow and get a little bit of stretch in the front of your hips and your quads. So if you just stand at the bottom of the hill and do those for five minutes, it'll be a good start to your day. Yeah, I can't stress that just, uh, just that little social interaction uh, amongst who you're going skiing with and doing a little warm up as opposed to talking can make a whole difference in your day and uh, just get your blood going. Great tips there on the warm up.